Hi, Ted Padova here. In this video, I want to talk about how we might go about protecting sensitive data in a PDF form. As you take a look at this form that I have on screen right now, you can see at the top I've got identifying information. And most of this information is not any kind of sensitive data that we need to have protected from unauthorized viewers. However, down at the bottom, you'll notice that I have things like social security numbers and I have uh, credit card information down here. Some of this data is sensitive and we want to make sure that we protect the, that data against any unauthorized viewing. So well, let's take a look at what happens when I populate some of the form fields here that you see that are not populated. For example, in social security number down here. If I click and I type in the last four digits of this social security number, and then I hit the tab key, you'll notice that the first two boxes where I had three digits for the first box and two digits for the second box are made invisible. If you come down here for, for the credit card, and we take a look at this field, if I type in the last four digits and hit the tab key, then you'll notice that as I tab out, the first 12 digits are hidden. And the way we do that is to write a JavaScript for each one of those fields. So let's go over to prepare form here and let's take a look at those fields that uh, I just edited. I'll go over here to actions and what you notice is that the first of all the mouse up uh, key right here is set up to on blur. And here are the mouse behaviors that you find that you can set up for any action. We can uh, invoke a JavaScript on a mouse up, that is when the button is released, on a mouse down when the user clicks first, on a mouse enter the field, a mouse exit the field, and on focus is when we tab into the field, and on blur is when we tab out of the field. So you can see that I have this set up to on, be on blur when I tab out of the field. And this is the script that we have in the field. What I'm doing is I'm assigning variable A to A.SS. And that's the name, the parent name for each of these first two fields that I have. They start with A.SS dot and then another value. And what I do is after I assign the variable to those fields, then I say f hidden equal true. It's a very simple JavaScript and easy to hide fields in, uh, by using JavaScript. And I'll click OK, and we come down to this uh, credit card field down here. Once again, it's on mouse blur. I'll take a look at this JavaScript. And it's basically the same. The only th difference is that the parent names here are a.cc, and that's the name of the first, the prefix for each of these first three fields. All right. Now, if you take a look at this form, and I navigate over to the next page, you can see that I have some button fields that ask for an individual user to maybe authenticate the data by providing a copy of their social security card and another identifying information card such as a passport or a driver's license. When this form then gets sent to an authorized individual, for example, let's say the accounting department needs to know what the social security number of the uh, employee is and also if this is a company credit card, accounting needs to know what credit card number the, the uh, employee is using, we need to have a way for the accounting department people to see all the fields that were hidden. And we do that with this field right here. And I'll open up this field. This is on a mouse up mouse behavior. Let's go over here to run a JavaScript. I'll click on edit. And here's the JavaScript. Now the first thing I do is assign the var variable official to the prefix OF. And that's these two fields down here. You see these fields are not visible when I take a look at the preview here. You see that these fields are not visible because these numbers or values are going to be assigned by the accounting department. This is uh, the employee ID, ID number and a parking place permit. Okay, so let's go back to edit, back and we'll open up this form field, 
click on edit and let's get through this script here so official is assigned to these two values and what we're going to do is we're going to say that once this is assigned to the value official we're going to say official is hidden uh, and it's not and it's false in other words these two fields are going to be made visible as soon as the person puts in the proper password and then we have an application response dialog box and we assign a password that the user has to type and that's right here application response enter your password and I say if the password is not equal to and all I did was I used the word password to be the password to open the file so you would change if you copy this field you want to uh, add an application response dialog box for a password you would just change password here to something a little bit more realistic for a password and then I will go to my show value here, which is the A fields. And that's all the fields, the prefix for all the fields in the document. We want to make sure that they are all visible. So I say show hidden is false. In other words, we don't want to hide it. We want to show it. Okay. So let's take a look at how we execute this. A click. Notice that I don't have any fields down here. I have some fields that are missing. And when I click you see I type my password click OK whoops gotta go lowercase here click OK whoops I didn't type it right let's try that again you can see what happens if I don't type the right password okay so P A S S W O R D let's get it right and now these fields are made visible you see that I show these three fields that I've hidden before and then of course in the Social Security number as well so you see that uh, we have this form set up to hide the fields however if someone has Acrobat Pro they'll be able to open this document and tear it apart and actually get the information we don't want that to happen so we have to add one more level of security and to do that we need to look at the document properties an easy way to open document properties is to press the control key on Windows the command key on the Macintosh and press the D key and that opens up document properties and you can see that we have security as a tab here you want to go to security and currently there's no security on the file so I need to open this drop-down menu and choose password security and the first box up here is to require a password to open the document well we want people to open the document because we're gonna have clients using it that's not a problem but we want to restrict editing and printing on this form so we need to check this box we won't restrict printing we'll let the client print the file that's okay so we'll let high resolution printing be allowed and then for change allowed I have two options I can choose either just form fill in or commenting and form fill in I don't need comments on the form so I'll just use filling in a form fields so that's going to protect this uh, this form for everything except filling in fields and that's what we want to enable the uh, user to do and then I need to type in a password uh, just type in three characters here and then I'll click OK and I'll be presented with another dialog box whoops doesn't like that okay type in a few more characters and then click OK and then this is asking for a confirmation of the password so you need to type in the exact same password that you typed in here and click OK save the file and then it will be protected so once again we go back to our original form here you can see that in a way sometimes you may find that you need to protect a PDF document with sensitive data and this is one way that you can accomplish that task this is Ted Padova wishing you all the best in all your Acrobat Pro endeavors